everybody. Today, this video is inspired by Poi Trichata. She is a Thai actress and model. She's absolutely beautiful. Definitely recommend going, going and checking her out. Um, some of the media involving her has Trichata Poi, but her Instagram is Poi Trichata and the media from her country says poi trichata so that's what i'm sticking with the hair was very simple it's straight and inspired by this photo and i took some inspiration from these photos for the makeup i wanted to do something like so almost no makeup makeup kind of um and this was perfect. She looks stunning. It's so effortless and I'm just really happy with how it turned out. I really hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Okay, so we are going in with the P. Louise base on the eyes. Um, and today I will be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette. For the first color on the lid, I actually used... Um, estate but that was a bit too uh orangey i wanted something more neutral so i decided to just go ahead with my face powder i did it on the one eye i did estate and then face powder over top of it so i had to do it on the other eye to match it up but my face powder ended up covering it pretty much anyway for the color along the lid that i am doing now along the lash line kind of wing it out but don't lift the wing do the wing exactly at the angle that your eye line ends um normally i would lift my wing but this time it's a very straight very continuing your eye line type look i used the color coastline it is like a nice orangey kind of neutral but i also is it's not as pigmented because i'm putting it over face powder if that makes sense for the eyeliner, um, I got a lot of flack for this online, but, like, honestly, shut the fuck up. Like, I use Jordana Coffee Bean Eyeliner. I don't even know if Jordana's still a company. Um, like, are they still around? I don't know. But I used that. It's, like, 15 years old. <laughs> I mean, honestly... <laughs> Like, it literally is. And, like, oh, no, they've been closed since 2020. So it's very old. It's very old. Um, I don't know how old, but it's, like, at least 10 probably years old, 15. I don't know. Anyway, um, I went ahead and I applied that very, very close to my lash line just to make them look thicker and to blend in the half lashes that I used. And then I went ahead and took in the um, Anastasia Riviera palette, the color Palm. And I just followed the wing of the eye. And same as with the other shadow, continued on in a more concentrated area. So I used a smaller brush for this. Curled my lashes, used Benefit Their Real Magnetic Mascara, applied some half lashes... Some half lashes. Lashes. That's L A Z H E S. Lashes. And yeah, I just went ahead and made sure. I, I did use black um, lash glue on the one and then clear lash glue on the other, which I probably should have done clear lash glue on both, but I did not. Also, I'm a touch sick, so please disregard my voice. Um, the makeup was very minimal. For the eyebrows, I used the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer, and I went ahead and just filled in the very center of the eyebrow. I didn't fill in, really, the um, front part or the back part. For the inner corner of the eye, I did use the white from the... Um, Riviera palette, and that was the color Sales. I used the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, 
and then I went ahead with the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer under my eyes and I just went ahead and took a very fluffy brush and blended that out. That's a technique that I've done for a while um, since I was a makeup artist to dissipate the color and really if it's a if it's a very high coverage concealer or foundation you doing something like that can blend it out really nicely then i went ahead and used my fingers for my foundation and it's the color or it's the uh l'oreal true match lumi foundation and i went ahead and used that all over the face but i just applied it kind of like a face cream or lotion um i like to do that to really sheer out the product i'm just giving myself a wash of coverage so to speak for um i did also go ahead and reapply concealer on under my chin because i found that the um redness was kind of poking out so i went ahead and applied concealer under my chin and on my upper lip and then put foundation over top of it again and then i was like happy with the coverage and how it looked for the bronzer which i did like very lightly um i used the makeup revolution um ultra cream bronzer and that's in the color light if i'm not mistaken yes and then I went ahead and applied the Made by Mitchell Teach'em Peach Blush, which is a very nice neutral color. If you're not wanting like too much blush or anything like that. Then I went ahead and set my whole face with the MAC Studio Fix Powder. And I went ahead and used that all over, used the same color all over and applied the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder all over as my setting powder. Further kind of blending out and brushing out the um, eyeshadow though, I wanted to make sure that it blended like from the line to under my eye as well too, if that makes sense. So I really really drew out the line obviously but then I wanted to make sure that the line continued under my eye I hope this makes sense I kind of sound like I'm just chatting shit and using that Jordana color again honestly any black pencil will do I'm sorry any brown pencil will do and for lips, I was really happy with how the lips turned out. It is the Crown Case, the Berry Lip Liner. It didn't um, have a name on it when I bought them. I don't know if they're, they have names now. but And uh, the Tarte Berry Cruiser Lipstick and the Fenty Pretty Please Gloss, Gloss Bomb. And for powder blush as well, I forgot to mention, I did use the She Glam Tangerine Lightweight Matte Blush. So for lips, I applied the lipstick and then went back and darkened up parts of the lip line. For the bronzer here, I used the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronze. I recommend the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer if you wish. And for hair, it was very simple. It was just a black straight look. So I went ahead and threw on a wig and that was that. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.